Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Tech MK14 Mod O. Now, this gun is simply a cosmetic variant of the MK14 Mod O, the normal version. Now, I haven't gone and done a review on either of these weapons, so I thought let's just go and bundle it into one. I haven't done a review in such a long time, and I know you guys have been asking for my thoughts on this weapon. Now, if you haven't seen one of my reviews before, it has been literally a year since I've done one. I first go and talk about the statistics, then it's short, medium, and long range performance. Then I go and talk about the cosmetics and then give an overall summary of the weapons, highlighting the key points. The damage is at 47, and that is really good for an assault rifle. That is up near the AK-47 and G36E level. A super solid three-shot kill, and you're definitely going to be doing tons of damage towards your opponents. The portability is at 61, and even though that may not seem the highest, it's still going to be relatively portable if you're running a recon vest, a light vest, or something along those lines, and everybody has it. So the portability statistics isn't really as important as it was when the game was a bit older, when it was back in 2010, and we didn't really have these super high movement speed items. Now the rate of fire is what makes this gun even more special. It is at 70. A 70 rate of fire coupled with a 47 damage means that you're gonna be putting so much damage down, the time to kill is gonna be so extremely low that people won't even know you're firing at them. It's just pew 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 dead. And that is what you want in a really good assault rifle. It just gets even better when you talk about the accuracy. 81, this gun's like a sniper rifle. Recoil, 65. Even though it is a bit on the higher side, it's still very much manageable. So how does it go and work in game? Short range, this gun is a god. It can outgun submachine guns, and that isn't really supposed to happen. SMGs are supposed to be the masters of close quarters. But this gun can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. With its high rate of fire and high damage, in close range, it doesn't matter how much spread there is. It doesn't matter how much recoil. If you're just spraying in someone's face, if you go and get the bullets down, you're definitely going to have a significant advantage. The SMGs, they do have that higher rate of fire, but you have the higher damage, and that can go and win out in most situations. Medium range is where this gun goes and shines. Everything about this gun screams going and hip firing at medium range or even using a scope. A scope is very much usable in medium range. Just going and going choo 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 and just instantly taking someone out. This gun is perfect in that medium range situation, be it in death room, going across the corridor, or even something a little bit more closer in let's say oil rig going from spawn to the coke machine or something along those lines. Medium range, this gun is where it shines and it, this gun kind of shines in all situations as well in long range it doesn't do as well as something like a g36c obviously because it doesn't have that sniper scope but if you go and chuck an acog sight on the weapon it's definitely able to go and pick heads at long range obviously a sniper a sniper rifle will generally beat you out but this gun is still usable at long range and that is absolutely fantastic now, cosmetic-wise, this gun is absolutely amazing. I have to go and say this: the cosmetic is purely the reason why I like this gun more than the MK14 motto. Just that gold paint job is absolutely sick, and it's definitely more gold than, let's say, the AK47 gold-plated, and that is really, really, really cool in my opinion. Aesthetics is really important to me. If the gun doesn't look nice, then I simply can't go and use it. And that's how I was with the normal MK14 motto. It was a decent gun, I just didn't like it. But for me, I like the gold paint job. The gun looks really cool to me, and that's why I can use it a lot better. It sounds really stupid, but it's important for some players. So overall, this gun is a beast of a weapon. If you're looking for a solid assault rifle, then this gun is definitely a gun to go and choose. When you go and compare it to something like a G36E, the G36E will beat it out most of the time. However, in close range, MK14 Moto has a slight advantage due to its high fire rate. But long range, definitely the G36E. Medium range, it's up to the player. So overall, this gun is very, very, very good. I'd give it at least a 9 out of 10, with the G36E being something along the lines of like a 9.5, 10 out of 10. 
So that's my review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Bye, Renats. Undercover dudes, all the way from down under. Out.